Hi, this is The Business Guy, and in this video, we're going to dive deep into a topic that's crucial for anyone who's worked hard to build their wealth how to protect your assets from lawsuits. And if you think it can't happen to you, think again. The truth is, according to attorney Jay Minton, the average person suffers seven lawsuits in his or her lifetime. Now keep in mind, lawsuits are initiated by the other guy, whether warranted or not. And if you have deep pockets, there are a lot of people out there, including contingency fee attorneys, who want to line up and get into those pockets of yours. Now lawsuits can happen to anyone, and they can be financially devastating if you're not prepared. So let's talk about how you can be prepared and safeguard what you've worked so hard to earn. Did you know that about 50 million lawsuits are filed in the U.S. every year, that's nearly one lawsuit for every five adults. And when it comes to protecting your assets, it's not about being paranoid, it's about being prepared. Okay, now first let's talk about why asset protection is so important. Imagine you're a business owner, a doctor, or even someone with rental property. If somebody decides to sue you, whether it's justified or not, your assets, including your home, savings, and investments, could be at risk. The goal of asset protection is to make it difficult, if not impossible, for creditors to reach your assets. It's like building a legal fortress around your wealth. The stronger the fortress, the less likely it is that someone will be able to break through and take what's yours. Now let's go over some of the most effective legal tools for asset protection. I'm going to break this down into three main categories, trusts, LLCs, and exemptions. Now I've been in the asset protection field since 1991, and I'm the CEO of Asset Protection Planners, which is the largest asset protection firm in the nation. We have attorneys on staff, and I believe over 102,000 clients in our database. So number one, trusts. Trusts are one of the most powerful tools for protecting your assets. Now there are different different types of trust, but when it comes to asset protection, we're talking about offshore trusts and domestic trusts. Offshore trusts, particularly in jurisdictions like the Cook Islands, Belize, or Nevis, are incredibly strong because they operate under foreign laws, making it difficult for U.S. courts to reach your assets. I've been in the asset protection field since 1991, as I said, and I've set up more Cook Islands trusts than anyone in the world. U.S., Canadian, U.K. courts say, give me the money, and our offshore trustee law firm says, you don't have jurisdiction down here. Out of thousands of trusts, I know of none of our clients who have ever lost a dime in a money judgment using one of our Cook Islands trusts. On the other hand, domestic trusts available in states like Nevada and South Dakota can also offer a mid-level of protection, but are still subject to U.S. law. That means that if a results-oriented judge in the U.S. wants to reach the assets, they will. Now, we do set up domestic trusts if our clients jump up and down and insist, but they work fairly well if you live in one of the few states that offer them. But if you have a Nevada or South Dakota trust and you don't live in Nevada or South Dakota, I don't ever remember seeing one work because the California, Texas, Florida, New York judge rules according to local law, not Nevada or South Dakota law, and demands that your local trustee, who is under your local judge's jurisdiction, hands over the loot. So we've seen our offshore trusts work every time, and I can't say the same for domestic trusts. We also have what is our own unique trademark called a trigger trust. A trigger trust is a domestic trust that has a triggering clause that our offshore trustee can pull when you need to put on the armor plating. So when you need the domestic trust to be turned into an offshore trust, we have installed a triggering mechanism that requires the action of our offshore law firm, and you can have the powerful protection of the International Asset Protection Trust. Now, the key thing here is that a properly structured trust can shield your assets from creditors, making it almost impossible for them to be seized in a lawsuit. The stronger, the better. Number two, limited liability companies. So next up on our list, limited liability companies or LLCs. If you own a business or rental property, Holding those assets in an LLC is a must. An LLC limits your personal liability, meaning that if your business is sued, your personal assets, like your home, savings, are generally protected. But not all LLCs are created equal. For example, a Cook Islands LLC, Belize LLC, or Nevis LLC offers stronger asset protection than a domestic LLC because the law is more favorable to debtors, making it extremely difficult for a creditor to seize 
your assets. So we put US real estate into US LLCs since the real estate is in the US anyway. Pretty hard to pick up a house and move it offshore outside the local judge's jurisdiction. So then we record equity stripping line of credit mortgages against your US real estate. So we strip out the equity so there's nothing of value left to take. Finally, we put the offshore LLC inside of your offshore trust. So your offshore asset protection trust owns 100% of an offshore LLC, and then it's your offshore LLC that opens the bank account. You are the manager of the LLC when the waters are calm, and then our offshore law firm can step in as LLC manager to protect you as needed. And with real estate, to avoid the due on sale clause, we also install land trust for privacy of ownership. We have the land trust own the real estate, and then we make the LLC in the US the beneficiary of that real estate. And then as we said, we stick the equity stripping lien on the property to suck out the equity. See our video on real estate asset protection for more information. So the key takeaway is that using LLCs correctly can create strong barriers between your personal wealth and potential creditors. It also acts as your remote control to your offshore bank account when you need the power of the International Asset Protection Trust. The third tool in our asset protection toolbox is exemptions. These are legal provisions that protect certain types of assets from creditors. For example, in Florida, your primary residence is protected under the state's homestead exemption. The same in Texas. The problem is, with the new bankruptcy laws, you have to live in it for three years and four months before you receive full protection. And that's a federal rule, so that applies in all 50 states before you can receive that state's full protection asset protection. So what creditors often do is petition the court to throw you into bankruptcy and they can take your house. So homestead protection has its limits and can't be relied upon for emergency asset protection like an offshore trust can. Retirement accounts like 401ks are also protected under federal law. Now this has its limits as well because first there is a limit as to how much you can put into a 401k and an IRA and that leaves the rest of your assets exposed plus some some states leave IRAs exposed. In California, for example, if a judge thinks you can support yourself in some other manner after retirement, the courts can take your IRA away from you. Now, it's important to understand what exemptions are available in your state and how you can leverage them to protect your assets. But remember, exemptions alone aren't enough. You need to combine them with other strategies like trusts and LLCs to create a comprehensive asset protection plan. So now that we've covered the tools, let's talk about some common mistakes people make when trying to protect their assets. The biggest mistake, waiting until it's too late. If you try to transfer your assets after you've been sued or when you see a lawsuit coming, the courts can reverse those transfers. This is called a fraudulent transfer, and it's generally a civil matter, not a criminal matter in most states. So that's why just about the only thing that really works after you've been served is an offshore asset protection trust, because just about everything else is within the reach of the U.S. courts to reach in and grab. Even so, experts certainly recommend protecting yourself beforehand, or you're going to face some serious heat in the courtroom, even if you do protect your assets. In other words, setting up an offshore trust can protect your assets after the fact, but the opposing attorney and the judge are going to jump up and down like screeching baboons if you protect yourself last minute. So yes, the offshore trust works after the fact, but be prepared to ride the bucking bronco in the courtroom. Another thing, divorce is a whole new animal. Protecting yourself after you have already been served with divorce papers is a big no-no because divorces also include financial restraining orders, ordering you to immediately refrain from moving your assets outside of your normal spending habits. Otherwise, you can face civil contempt, which includes serious financial consequences and even incarceration in some extreme cases. So if love is on the rocks, better reach out to us now because later is too late. Another mistake is not fully understanding the laws in your state. Asset protection is a complex field and what works in one state might not work in another. That's why it's crucial to work with an experienced asset protection professional who specializes, yes, in asset protection. In fact, we have attorneys and consultants on hand who work with people in all 50 states. So when you engage our services, our customer services team will be all over you, helping you through the simple steps after you consult with our consultants or attorneys. And finally, don't 
don't just rely on one strategy. Asset protection is about layering your defenses. The more layers you have, the harder it will be for a creditor to reach your assets. So that said, what can you do right now to start protecting your assets? Here are a few actionable steps. Set up LLCs. If you own a business or rental property, make sure each is held in a separate LLC. Next, create a trust. Consider setting up a domestic or better yet, offshore asset protection trust to hold your personal assets. Finally, review state exemptions. Check what exemptions are available in your state and plan accordingly. And most importantly, consult a professional. Work with a professional who specializes in asset protection to create a personalized plan. Visit us at assetprotectionplanners.com for more free info or get a hold of us by filling out a free consultation form. Remember, the best time to start protecting yourself is before you face a lawsuit. The sooner you act, the more options you'll have to safeguard your wealth. So in closing, asset protection is not just for the ultra wealthy, it's for anyone who wants to ensure their hard earned assets are safe from legal threats. By using the right tools and strategies, you can build a strong defense that will protect your wealth for years to come. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Business Guy channel for more tips on protecting and growing your wealth. And if you have any questions or need help getting started with asset protection, feel free to reach out at assetprotectionplanners.com. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.